<laughs> yes, people, reality based diets. Um, it's a double drop day. It is a double drop day. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Right. Um, this this message isn't isn't as universal uh, as my last one. Um, this is probably one of the last times that I'll be making any type of personal statements or talking on a personal level because my my purpose is far greater than these people when i first started this i started it by outing the people who had come into union with my family yeah in a conspiracy to I'm not sure if you knew the full details, but regardless of whether you knew the full details, you got on board with a conspiracy, a conspiracy to go against me. As friends, you held back information, you kept secrets, you perpetuated lies. Yeah. And I, I'm just going to. In fact, I'm calling names. I'm calling names. Wish you are one of the main culprits because like I'm saying to you, you are without doubt the first contact that my cousin's cousin had. Yeah, you were the gateway in, right? And everybody else who knew and tried to keep the secrets, whether it is you, Matt, whether it is you, T, yeah? Or like... Terry as well, Terence fucking Dunge, yeah? Beyond anything else, people, right? This guy is a fucking murderer, yeah? He has done this everywhere he's lived. I should imagine there's people in every town or city that he's ever lived in that have mysteriously died or been taken the fuck up out of here. And he was the benefactor. I have no doubt of this whatsoever. So... Within saying that, also family members that try to play me, yeah, my sister for one. I know, I know everything. You can't, that family members, please, please, please do not insult my intelligence by screaming family and trying to tell me that you are proud of me and all the rest of it. I know who you are. I know what you represent. That is why karma is coming and licking you in your forehead. This is why karma is coming and licking all of you in your fucking foreheads. Yeah? That tax season must have been hitting real fucking hard for you, Wish. Considering that you got your PPE loan off of my name. Because this brother, like I'm saying to you, the, the bread that, that brought you into this, yeah? I know that he's connected to my family. I know that they're involved with the masons i know right this is the thing what none of you can tell me any different don't don't even think about coming to try and gaslight me or trying to come around and celebrate me because i i'm not hearing a bar of it like i'm saying to you man everybody made their choices and everyone's choice was to go against me and you're done now, you're getting your fucking rasses tossed up in one way, shape or another. Yeah? Whether you had to learn some hard truths about your so-called best friend who was fucking your gal the whole time. Yeah? Whether or not that's your you or not, I don't know. I kind of feel like I was right. And beyond being right, I know exactly who Bones was in that situation. Like I'm saying to you, anybody who is, was, or could be connected to someone who, who I would consider an enemy is an enemy to me. That is more than evident to me, right? Whether 
like I'm saying, whether you withheld the truth, whether you lied on my name, whether you are just a fucking whore, like a whore, Anissa, yeah? That's it. That's all that's left. You defiled yourself and there's nothing but trash left. Never mind not wanting you. You need to stay the fuck away from me. Your karma is coming, yeah? Charlie, uh, your karma is coming. Anybody that is attached to my sister trying to give her information about me, your karma is coming too, yeah? Like I'm saying to you, even if I... Well, I can't remember what year it was now, but a couple years ago, maybe a year, maybe two. I don't know. I don't remember because you were dealing with the spirit of delay too, weren't you? Um, whether you tried to hypnotize me, yeah, like, but even, even before I had ascended, I was far, far, far more powerful than you. And your ego got slapped about that night. Remember when I popped back into my body and just laughed in your face? I do. I do. Even the guy who taught you that it doesn't matter how many edges there are to his blade. He's not powerful enough. You lot are trash. You lot are trash. Yeah? Just know that I know. And calm is coming. This is all it is. Also, I don't buy for a second any of the rumours about Trellian having an Italian restaurant. Nope. Um, I don't buy the fact that a project of his dropped lately. I don't buy it. It makes me believe even more what I think. Yeah. People think that all of this devil worship shit is a joke, but it's not. People think that it's... Fuck knows what they think. But I tell you what, yeah? The physical state and appearance of Trillian's partner in Rhyme also told me everything I needed to know. I remember, this, I remember the, the, the photo that Lee Scott posted on his story of Sniff. I remember how he looked. I remember thinking, raw, oh, my man looks fucked up. Back then, but now, because I understand the the impact of black, dark magic, yeah? And I understand the toll that it weighs on the soul, the mind, and the body. I've got no doubt in my mind. And I do believe that Everything that has come to pass will come to light. I don't even really need to be doing this. I've just had enough. I've had enough of the bullshit. I've had enough of the gaslighting. I've had enough of the fucking fake false outrage. I've had enough of the copying. I've had enough of the biting. I've had enough of the unoriginality. I've had enough of you fucking cretins. Because none of you, not one of you, have ever tried to actually fucking come at me head on. Ever. Because you know you can't. Your magic is worthless. Your hypnotist skills, you are not, <laughs> you are not David McKenna. Right? And I can't imagine he's that top hypnotist in the world either, right? So, what I would say to you is do not think that I don't know because I do I know about all of you yeah Marvin Lewis disgusting took your fucking mother out of this world for gain yeah disgusting disgusting yeah ah oh, you are disgusting to me right and I no longer feel rage about this because I know that the ancestors have taken over this situation, yeah. Everyone's getting turned over right now. Cause that's what time it is. Yeah. The fact that you took my dad out disgusts me, saddens me, but I'm no longer angry. This isn't the spirit of vengeance. This is the spirit of retribution. Yeah, divine intervention. 
None of you hold any power. Otherwise, you wouldn't have fucking moved to the devil in the first place, you weak, weak people. There's nothing but weakness within you. Greed. The want for fame, fortune. This is why none of you have ever or will ever be me. You cannot steal my destiny. You cannot even perform witchcraft. Their strongest practitioners are powerless. Like I'm saying, Dunge is probably one of their fucking top assassins, top fucking practice. I don't know what he is, but it's weakness. Because that's all I used to see in him. That's all I used to see in him. I tried to help him, yeah? Tried to show him. Because even when he was showing me shit, yeah? I had deeper insight to it than he did. And this was months, if not years ago. Tells me everything I need to know. Now, like I'm saying to you, yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm more, I've got more deets. I've got more deets for all of you. Like, I even know when some of you are going to die and how. <laughs> But I won't be sharing that information. I think... <laughs> I think a big chunk of the fun for me is just letting you find out for yourself. And you might say that that is evil of me. I don't see how it's evil. How could it be evil when you tried to hypnotise? You tried to slander? You tried to fucking railroad me with falsified criminal charges? You tried to fucking kill me? Yet here I am, better than ever, restored by the Most High, the power of God in his infinite wisdom. You lot are keeping up appearances, I hear it. But some of you have diseases that you can't get rid of. Some of you have children that aren't yours. Some of you losing or have lost children. Like I'm saying to you, this is not my doing. I do not practice black magic. I pray to the most high. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> this is what you don't get. The moment you tried to tap into me, I tapped into you. Because that's how it works. Especially if I'm more powerful than you. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, there's people who are way more experienced and just as powerful as me. But at the same time, because of what my actual gifts are, because, like, my sight is unmatched. Yeah, even when you're doing magic to fuck with my vision, yeah, you're, all you're doing is stopping me from being able, to, being able to read books, yeah, without my glasses on. That's it. That is it. Outside of that, I see you. I see you all. And I'm telling you, the towers are coming if they haven't already. I feel no way to say what I'm saying. You've had months to come with some level of truth, yet you could not. Because you could not. How could you? All you could do is double down. Like I'm saying to you, if I know that you are connected to people that do not fuck with me, you are an enemy to me. And God does not play about me. Yeah. God will fuck up any of my enemies. Without me even asking. I don't even have to be present. Or. Aware. Of your plots and schemes. I don't have to. I don't have to be. Because my spirit team. My guides. My angels. My God. Is omnipresent. The thing, the people, the entities that you worship, yeah? Their boss. <laughs> Their boss is my boss. But I'm held in higher regard than them. Because I have purpose. And beyond having purpose, I live in my purpose. I am in alignment with purpose. You are in alignment with greed, 
envy, deception, basically all of the lower energies, whether you want to fucking admit it or not. That's just facts. That is just facts. Like I'm saying to you, I've, I've avoided this conversation for months. We are about to hit May, so it's been a good five to six months since I flipped my lid at, at Christmas time or just after Christmas. I've given people ample opportunity to fall back. I've given people ample opportunity to confess. I've given it all. And all I've seen is bullshit. So now I'm on my bullshit. Yeah. Like I'm saying, I do not believe for one second that Trellian runs an Italian restaurant in Sheffield. Not for one second. I seen a status sniff long time ago. I remember when Colt Mountain was popping off. I remember who it was that was taken into the fold to become one of the highest in the room. I remember it was Trellian. I remember Trellian was the one who was taken under the wing of Alchemist and he left you bitches behind. Sounds like, sounds like the type of situation that would lead to envy and it would lead to someone trying to destiny swap or energy harvest. That's how I feel. Do you know why I feel that way? Because that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. I remember the first time I met Trilly, right? It was a boom bap festival. I was spun at the time. I was I was drinking lean, I was high and all the rest of it. But he reached out to me, he wanted to chat to me, right? And because of who he fucked with, or fucked with, I didn't want to know nothing about it. I just kept myself to myself, as I often have, which more time has led me to be isolated and susceptible to lies and treachery. Yeah? Because for a large amount of my life, I've not been able to rely fully on my intuition. Whereas now I'm in complete alignment and I have ascended. Yeah, not only am I a master, but I am an ascended master. Yeah, the high priest. The man of the hour. <laughs> so, I do hope that you're all prepared. Because obviously we all know who Milk is, who his parents are, and what they're connected to. Or whether or not we know, I know. I know. Lee, I know who your girlfriend is and who she's connected to. Because the fucking practitioner is just loose with his talk. Terry, Terence, whatever you want to call yourself. Even if that isn't your real fucking name, Dunge. Yeah, he gave up a lot of information without really realizing he was giving up information. Yeah, and the moment when I realized people were trying to fucking kill me, he gave up information about Trelly, not, not even knowing. Like, he just started talking nonsense, yeah, out of nowhere. And I'm like, right, okay. Because I even said to him, oh, bro, like, I think that they might have um, sacrificed him. I said that. I said that to Terry and he went quiet. Body language told me everything. So here I am, what, six to nine months later, just calling you all out. Calling you all out. Because number one, like, you ain't going to come at me head on. I will fuck you up in the fucking 3D. Yeah, you think these hands don't work, yeah. You ain't I look pretty, yeah, but when you get closer closer, yeah, I got scars all around my eyes. Yeah, I got scars all across my head and forehead, yeah. All across my chin. But I still look good. Should tell you everything you need to know. I ain't scared of none of you fools. 
And when it comes to all the other shit, the otherworldly shit, you are not on my level. You are not on my ranking. None of these fucking practitioners of high, high rank and regard are even on my fucking level. So how could you little fucking dibble dabblers, <laughs> dabblers, yeah? How could any of you be on my level when it comes to the practices of the mystical arts? Then I don't even try to do shit. I just pray and manifest from a place of alignment. Because I understand the mission. I understand the reason that I was given these gifts. I understand the reason that my family are falling right now. I understand the reason that they are going down in flames. And it's because they made allegiances with the devil for money, for fame, for wealth, for shit that they just don't have in them. Like I'm saying, my cousin Richard has probably got at least seven bodies on his name, on his head. All of that is coming to light. I do hope that Byron, you had nothing to do with this. We will never reconcile. Don't watch none of that. But I need you to understand that this fucking prick killed your father. And if you were complicit in that, then damn sure that you might well be receiving karma too. I don't know what that looks like for you. But from Marvin and Lewis were complicit in the murder of their mother, an anointed pastor, yeah, disgusting, disgusting. Auntie Lorna wearing the guise of religion and high standing within religious communities, yet is 100% responsible for the death of her mother, the death of her brother, Z and she spoke at his fucking funeral. I remember, the, I remember the fucking story as well. Remember the moon pun stick story? I remember, I remember now. I remember you talking. There is no forgiveness from me. Like I'm saying, the forgiveness that I've given is the forgiveness for anything done to me because I am still alive. My reputation is still intact. My abilities are still intact. None of you can fuck with me, right? But the reality is, I, I don't forgive any of you for taking Nan Nan, for taking Grandad, for taking my dad, for taking Uncle Fred, or for taking Auntie Gloria. I don't forgive you. I do not, and I will not. And I do hope to I hope and pray that Yasmin is okay. I hope and pray. Because that would probably have been your last ever fucking move. Uncle Glenn. Shit's is like I'm saying, if you if you if you make it to jail, yeah, if you make it to jail, you are not gonna have a good time. Uh, I mean Carl's been going to jail all his life and he's been getting fucked in jail. That's another download that I've had. Yeah, bad man. <laughs> but I don't know why I didn't get it, because you're skinny as fuck. And you and like Richard can beat you up, and Richard's a pussy. So like, of course you was getting fucked in jail. Of course you a bitch. Of course you a jail bitch. Of course you are. It makes perfect sense. Now, the rest of you, like I'm saying, everybody else who was recruited by my family. Some of you who have paper trails, like I'm saying, Anissa, my sister, yeah, Bristol people, I don't know. If you go jail, that's on you. I couldn't give a fuck, right? But those two women, right, you are not going to have a good time in jail. <laughs> you know why? And, and the baby mother. You know why? Because nothing worse in jail than fucking people that murder their own family or murder children. And that's what you got to look forward to. Hellfire. Yeah. All right, that's all you're getting. <laughs> Reality-based diets. Peace.